In today's This Week in Destiny, Bungie revealed some details about the 10th anniversary of the game franchise, as well as a few tweaks to this gun here. That's not really the interesting thing, even though this gun is amazing. The 10th anniversary of the game will be a bit lighter, apparently, with a title, a few free armor sets, and some Bungie rewards, is what they have told us so far. From a leak, which I had a quick look at, a leaked image, which seems to be the sort of promo image you get when you log into the game whenever the event starts, it looks like the event will have an activity in the Peel Heart, which is like go around and find chests or something like that, and the armor sets look to be inspired by the original sort of Destiny 1 themed armor sets, so that's quite nice, but it's a bit of a lighter event. I personally am quite happy about this, I'm content I think because there's just been constant sort of drama around Destiny, it feels like, since the final shape released. Both good and bad, like the expansion was one of the best I think I've ever played, but at the same time, Bungie have had massive layoffs, there's been concerns about the future of the game franchise and all that, and it's just a bit of turmoil I think going on at the moment. So a bit of a lighter, fun event might be a good thing. So I'm quite content about it. Half the people in the comments of the Reddit post seem to be uh, unhappy that <laughs> the content for it isn't 30th anniversary of Bungie levels of content, which of course was a Zoom DLC, albeit a small DLC, but it was a DLC. And half the people seem to be pretty happy that there's at least an event, which I can also completely understand. Looking at it logically, it does seem a bit strange that the 10th anniversary of the game franchise which arguably is more important to the game than the 30th anniversary of the game studio that makes it. Doesn't have more content or even like an Into the Light style of content drop. But wait, Into the Light had old returning weapons, which were exactly fan favourites from at least Destiny 2. It also took place in the Cosmodrome for one of the locations. And it was very much themed around sort of the past of the Destiny universe, wasn't it? Well, somebody in the comments gave me this idea, <laughs> so I can't take ownership for it, but it seems like potentially the Into the Light content was actually meant for the 10th anniversary of the game, because of it, the theme fits very well. All the stuff seems like anniversary content in a way, and it makes perfect sense as to why this event is a bit lighter now. How the story would have worked, I'm not entirely sure, because it involves pyramid ships and all that, but I would assume that it would be something like a retaliation for the witness dying and stuff. So it's sort of like killing off the last of its forces, I suppose, which I guess would make sense for they just reframe the story a bit and shift up its sort of timeline because of the delay for the final shape. But I would make perfect sense if the end of the light stuff was in fact meant to be for the anniversary of the game. But that's about it. Um, I'm looking forward to the event. I'll definitely cover it whenever it comes out. I think it'll be a nice wee fun light event. But I thought it was quite interesting that Into the Light very well could have been for the 10th anniversary. And it just got moved because of the delay. So, in a way, we've already experienced the 10th anniversary of the game, I suppose. And we're getting bonus stuff. Yay! I think that's a very optimistic way to look at it, and not the way the Destiny community tends to look at things. But anyway. Also, yes, I know I'm just literally playing the game and talking, and it's not the best gameplay, but it's surprisingly difficult to talk and play a game at the same time. So I definitely relate to all those YouTubers who complain about it. Anyway, bye bye.